Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. I am not available. Mm. Marriage. Ooh, so you guys are dealing with somebody that is married in another commitment. Somebody, you deserve better. Yeah, some of you guys are dealing with somebody that is married, that has another person. They're in a relationship already. They're refusing to get a divorce. Like, they're not getting a divorce. They're not, they're refusing to leave a third part. I don't know. Something here is Spirit saying you deserve better than this person. Mixed signals. Yeah, somebody's sending you mixed signals. Mm. Money issues. Somebody could be having money issues. They don't feel the same. So you guys are dealing with somebody that is maybe trying to use you for money or use you in some way. Spirit wants you to know that you guys may have genuine love and feelings for this person. This person does not have that for you, okay? This person is a user. Um, I see that this person is dating somebody else. They're married to another person. Um, you deserve better than this person, okay? So let's get some more details here. Um... Hmm, what do I want to use? <laughs> what? Vic so this person's going to play the victim? They play the victim or not. Yeah, they have a big ego. They, they're wearing a mask with you. They're not showing you their true self. Yeah, I feel I don't deserve you. And you do. You They don't deserve you. So this person feels um, like they don't deserve you. And they don't. Okay? Like, they're correct. They don't deserve you. Um, I had sex with someone you know. So this person could have slept with somebody that you know. Or you know who they're with. They could have slept with somebody else. Plotting, uh, I don't know. They have more money than you. Yeah, this person um, pursues relationships because of financial gain or what they can get out of the relationship. Money. All right. How can I mend your broken heart? So this person is going to be trying to maybe try to get back in good with you, try to fix things with you while they're also, and try to play the victim while they're also still married to another person or they're still in a relationship with somebody else. They're still dealing with another person here. They're they're wearing a mask. They're putting up a facade here. This person doesn't even deserve the time, your energy. They don't deserve anything. They don't deserve for you to talk to them. I'm heavily feeling that here. So let's see here. Where's the deck? What's going on with this person, Spirit? This person's hiding things. Hold on, guys. Let me get my sneaky oracle. Let me get it. All right, I'm back. All right, before we look at what they're hiding here, how does this person view this connection? Energies.
Yeah, this person's selfish. They they do things for their own personal gain. They only care about what's going to make them benefit them. This person's a know-it-all too. They want things their way. Hmm. Acceptance. Cheating, yep. So this person wants you to just accept them for this the way that they are. They did they said like they don't really want to change anything. Yeah, look at this. Sabotaging. So immaturity. This person could be telling you that they want the same things as you. They wanted to get on the same page as you. But this person is also like they could be saying that they want to maintain their individuality. Like they want to come into union with you. They do want to be with you. But they also don't want to lose their freedom in a relationship. This, you and this, somebody in this connection or both of you guys have issues with codependency. You guys can be depending too much on this person to make you happy or this person depends on too much on other people, their significant others, romantic partners to make them happy. Somebody is like pursuing connections to fill a void here. And that's very, that's selfish. You know what I mean? Um, I don't feel like this person... The only thing that I feel like you and this person are on the same page about is that you guys have a lot of differences, but that's not like one of the big issues that's like a deal breaker for this connection. First of all, this person is saying they want to maintain their individuality. They want space because this person wants to be able to cheat. They're dealing with a third party. They're engaging in suspicious activities. That's why they're being standoffish. That's why they're saying, oh, I just want to maintain my individuality. I just need a little bit of space. I like to spend time alone. It's because this person's a cheater and they're dealing with third parties. They're doing suspicious things, all right? Also, this person is selfish and they're codependent. It's like they they attach themselves to people that they, that they feel like they can get something out of them, all right? And I feel like this person... It's never, it's like, I don't know if they've ever been there when you needed them. It could have been a time or a period when they were there for you, but I feel like that's not going to last. It's like this person is like, you, like this person's like, you're going to be hearing from them daily consistently. And then all of a sudden they're going to like block you or they're going to stop talking to you. They're going to end things with you abruptly. They're going to, their energy is going to switch up out of nowhere. And it's like this person is going to try to sabotage this connection. It's like they're super immature. They're still trying to figure out who the heck they are. All right. They don't have emotional maturity. They like to have very surface level connections. All right. I feel like this person is very lusty too, guys. Like they act out of lust. All right. Um, they move. They, they like try to move things fast. Move like things along quickly because they like to like try to like gain people's trust enough to be able to sleep with them. All right. This person has a lot of fears here. Loves like true love and feeling scares this person. All right, so let's see what this person is also. We already see that they're hiding a third party. They're hiding a third party. the narcissist they cheat to feed their own ego and feel entitled yep scheming they're making secret and underhanded plans we i saw it earlier but i didn't want to bring it up until i saw something else to validate that but i saw that it says this person is secretly plotting against you and then we have here scheming they're making secret and underhanded plans so this person has bad motives they have bad intentions they're trying to get something out of you take something from you steal from something from you use you in some way Manipulation. They feel, yeah, this person, the, the, um, the victim mentality card came out too. This person tries to guilt people into giving into them or getting what they want out of situations. They try to guilt people to give into their desires here. 
Ooh, this person has like a fetish too. They're about having their one specific fetish sexual act. So they, huh, I don't know guys, they, they, they like pursue sexual relationships to fulfill a fetish. Yeah, cheating here again, physical cheating. They're sexually involved with somebody else. They're sleeping with more than just you. Sleeping with multiple people. Betraying somebody here. Yeah, I told, didn't I say this? The wounded, they cheat to fill an emotional void or plays the victim role. Like, I don't know how, how else we could say this. This person is empty inside. They watch you. They're trying to get information on you. Try, they keep tabs on you in some way. Cover up. They're trying to cover up their cheating. I told you. And then we, we had the facade card that came out. And then we have this mask. This person try, is trying to cover up that they're a cheater. That they're dealing with multiple people. They probably do it by with their manipulation tactics. They're, they're trying to also hide that they're scheming. That they have bad intentions. They twist the facts by altering reality with lies or misstatements in order to confuse you. So this person knows how to like discombobulate the hell out of you too. And twist facts. Make the story confusing. Alter, try to alter like your perception of situations. Mm -hmm. This person's a manipulator. All right, so let's see. So this person's feeling like you guys have a lot of differences like and that already came through as well like they feel like you guys have like a lot of differences but i feel like they do think about that a lot but i don't feel like that's like and i feel like you guys probably feel that way about them too like you guys feel like you guys are very different and you guys may have even thought about whether or not that would cause you guys to not be able to work out in a relationship you guys are not able to get on the same page not see to eye, eye to eye about some things to be able to make the relationship work this person is a partier. They drink. They smoke. I told you, you're dealing with like a man child or a woman child. Okay. Um, this person's very avoidant too. They try to go out. They drink. They spend time with their friends. They do something to try to escape from the guilt that they feel for being a piece of crap human pretty much. So, um, yeah, this person's like not even willing, like not even thinking that they need it. It's like they know that they need to change, but they have no desire to do so. They're smug. Like they are very content with being this way. And they're not going to change. And you can't force this person to change. You can't make this per person do what they need to do to make this relationship work. Um, to get on the same page as you. This person tries to pretend like they're okay. But this person's miserable. I'm telling you, this person's empty. They have a void within them. Yeah, and I, this person also can feel that you are getting over them or moving on from them. Okay, they feel that. They feel you sleeping, slipping away from them. All right. Um... But it's like, you've left a mark on this person, and yep, you've left some type of mark on this person, and they're going to want to try to reconcile with you, but they're trying to work up the courage to come back towards you, but they, this person's still in that energy where they're desiring their freedom, but they still feel like they can't get away from you, they can't stop thinking about you, they can't stop, they can't get you out, like, out of, off of their head, they don't know what to do, so they're watching you in the meantime, but also at the same time, they're dating other people. What? This person's crazy. 
All right, it's like this person's been trying to get back out there and date or, and they're in a relationship. I feel like they're married to another person, but this person has been trying to get back out there and find another side chick or another side dude. Okay, guys, that's what this person's been doing. Is trying to find another side chick or another side dude. But at the same time, they're like, they're, they're very much heavily still focused on you. It's like in the future, this person's going to choose you to be with you and want to come into union with you, try to apologize. Yeah, they're going to call you, text you. But yeah, uh-uh. I don't think that this is somebody that you should um, associate with, guys. I'm going to get it, take a deeper look at it, though. All right. What's going to happen in the future? <laughs> so, yeah, this person knows that. So, I feel like this person is going to come towards you in a way that is going to cause some type of chaos. All right? Like, they're going to do it. Very, it's going to be very messy. Okay? They're about to put you in a messy situation. Like, they're going to try to come towards you and put you in a messy situation. Or they're going to create some type of messy situation. You guys have to, you know, um entertain it or be involved in it but i just see that them trying them coming towards you is going to cause some type of chaos all right it's going to cause some type of controversy a lot of gossip all right this person is going to do something that is breaking a social norm so they're going to like come towards you while they're still married they're going to come like they're going to do something like break some type of social norms here try to get into a relationship with you before you guys are in a relationship i mean before they end their marriage or in their like relationship because this person's afraid that you're getting away from them. They're afraid that you're dating again or moving on from them. So they're going to take a they're going to do something really uh irresponsible and impulsive, I feel like here or very just like messy and impulsive. Um but yeah, this person has been watching you. They've been watching you in the shadows. They've felt safe watching you from afar. I don't know, guys. No. Hidden plans. There's that strategizing energy. They've been hiding something. They're choosing not to reveal everything to you. Proceed with caution. Don't ignore the red flags. It's worth the time. Hmm. Yeah, the divine I, spirit told me it came into my head earlier. Spirit says they are protected. You guys are protected. They're protecting you. All right. This person is going to have some type of awakening. So if this person were to come towards you right now, I feel like they would not be coming towards you with the best intentions. All right. But I feel like in the future... This person's about to learn some type of valuable lesson. Are they already in the process of learning some type of valuable lesson? And it seems like they, I don't know, when this person comes back towards you, they're coming back towards you in a different energy. But I feel like they're also, them coming back around is also going to, it comes with a lot of messiness. You know what I mean? So, hmm, let's see here. Is this person coming back towards them with good or bad intentions? Hold on, let's see here. Are they coming back towards them with good intentions? Mm. The answer is a definite no. Will materialize. But, so, yeah. So, you says this person's not coming towards you with good intentions at all. Definitely no. All right. Um. It's like this person is going to show up again, but Spirit is saying that it's like you and this person won't be in contact for very long. Or even, even if you did try to work things out with this person, the relationship wouldn't last. Yeah, lack of confidence is hindering your manifestations. Hmm. Somebody's not very confident in this situation or this person, and that's why this isn't going to work out. The impossible will be made possible. Trust and believe. Your guides are warning you. Yeah, so it's going to be different for everybody. But I feel like Spirit is saying that this is just not going to be able to work out between you and this person. Um, I feel like when they do come back towards you, they may be coming back towards you with better intentions. But it just might be too late. You know what I mean? It just, that might be their karma is to miss out on you. Something along the lines of that. I just see that it's probably, um, 
not going to work out, okay? That's going to be different for all of you. So, let's see here. I knew this card was going to come out. I was hearing it in my head before I even put the card down. I was hearing, you guys need to forgive this person. You need to forgive them. I know some of you guys aren't going to be happy with me. But Spirit's saying that, that it's very important for your progress, for your growth, and for your healing. That you need to forgive them, release any resentment, wish them well, send them love and light, and move on with your life. You guys don't have to take this person back. But Spirit says some of you guys are holding on to too much resentment for this person. All right? And that you need to release that. Forgive them. Let them go. Wish them well. All right? says it's okay to forgive the past it's not making what they did better it's not making what they did okay but you need to do that for yourself so you can learn heal and grow okay and that's going to manifest good for your future i feel like there's going to be maybe somebody unexpectedly coming into your life here it's like there's going to be somebody that's going to just kind of pop into your life out of the blue very unexpectedly, a, a surprise person coming in. But, it, yeah, it's like you guys may have been feeling like you lack closure in this situation. But it says what's done is done. What's gone is gone. Okay, so it's like sometimes, guys, you don't get closure from the other person. Sometimes you got to find that within yourself. Okay? You guys are going to have to find that closure within yourself or you don't even need closure. But th this person's actions and what they've done to you is enough closure. Okay? So, stop looking for happiness. So, some of you guys are wanting, some of you guys had to learn a lesson, a harsh lesson that, you know, you guys may have really wanted something to work out with a person. You may have really had a lot of love and feelings for a person, but you guys kept, like, trying to pray hope and pray and manifest happiness with this person but you guys weren't realizing that you probably lost your happiness when dealing with this person you can't find happiness in the place where you lost your happiness and i feel like you guys lost happiness and even though you love this person and you wanted things to work out with them that person wasn't making you happy it wasn't fulfilling okay and you guys had to realize that you can't manifest happiness in a situation that's making you unhappy Okay, you guys had to be strong enough. You guys had to work up enough inner strength to be able to let something go that was not meant for you and that wasn't right for you. Okay? You must know what's good for you. What did I just say? It says you might know what's good for you, but your angels and guides know what's best for you. There's better. Exactly. It's like you guys thought that you wanted this person. You thought that that was your person. You thought that you wanted things to work out with them. But the divine was like, I'm telling you, this isn't the person for you. There's something better for you. So I feel like they've been also protecting you from this person. They've been trying to block this situation for your highest good because there's something better for you. I see somebody new coming in here and it's going to happen very unexpectedly. All right. This person may come towards you and apologize. Yeah, I feel like that's what's going to happen. This person's probably going to come towards you and they're going to apologize to you, but you guys are not going to get back together. You're not going to give them another chance, and you shouldn't. They don't deserve that. And this person's still going to be toxic. I told you they're going to be bringing all types of messiness with them. All right? So I see that there's probably going to be an apology from this person, but that's it. All right? Um, let's see. Let's on a lighter note. Let's see what you guys are manifesting to end the reading. your life to offer their support and stimulate your personal growth their act of kindness will help you see and believe the magic within you we have completion you'll reach some kind of completion or you're very close leaving you feeling accomplished and happy a new chapter will emerge and you'll once again start the next challenge we have marriage you may get engaged or commit to something or someone because you feel in your heart to be right you're ready to give it give give it your all to something you can emotionally and deeply connect with 
And we have secrecy. There's a situation or a person that is not what it appears to be. Yep, that's come through multiple times. But you will slowly start to uncover things that have been kept secret. Pay close attention to your surroundings. All right. Memories. You may be feeling a bit nostalgic and likely triggered. But know that while you can't go back in time and change the past, you can always change the way you think about it. All right, guys. trying to think is there anything else spirit is there anything else i'm gonna just pull one of these one card what should my collective be focusing on what should my collective focus on at this time perspective Gaining clarity, see the other side, consideration, impression versus fact, take responsibility for your life. Yeah, guys, like, so you can't blame this person. Yeah, I mean, you're responsible for your own life. You can't blame this person for what, where you're at, things that have happened. Yeah, I mean, like, just take responsibility. Yeah, I should have made better choices in the past. Yeah, they weren't the best option for, you know, best choice or it wasn't the best for me to get involved with that person. I learned my lesson. It was a valuable lesson. Like, you guys need to shift your perspective about that situation. You need to look at it as a lesson, a blessing in disguise that that didn't work out. Don't look at it as like, oh, my gosh, that person ruined my life. Or that person was the worst thing that ever happened to me. And I, that person, like, you can't, you got to shift your perspective. You got to be like, that was a valuable lesson that I learned. Now I know better. Now I can do better. Now I'm focusing on manifesting the best for me. All right, I'm focused on manifesting my highest good. All right, you guys got to get out of that um, that negative viewpoint. All right, spirit brings these types of situations into your life to teach you lessons. All right, so they want you to like shift your perspective and look at that situation with that person as a lesson. All right, um, and it gave you the opportunity to take responsibility for your life, okay? You can't put your happiness in another person. In another person's hands all right you can't put your life in another person's hands because they will drop you know what i mean you don't ever know they have their own free will they can do whatever they want they can ghost you they can cheat on you they can do whatever you got to make sure that you're solid within yourself you can't put your the responsibility for your life and your happiness your emotional fulfillment in another person's hands and i feel like this was a valuable lesson in that all right but here we go with the ultimate love. Forgive others and yourself. Yeah, you guys have to, again, Spirit is saying again, forgive this person. Forgive yourself for not knowing better at the time. Release this person. Release the past. Send them love and light, as I said. And now you know better and you can do better. And now you can manifest better. Okay? So this is what I have for you guys. So this is what I have for you guys. So 